Before wiring up any plug or connector, make sure the power is off to the cable. You will notice on the faceplate that it's stamped with the NEMA configuration, amperage, and voltage. Now taking a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the quick screws on the faceplate and remove the faceplate from the body housing. Next, taking your Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the two strain relief screws on your strain relief. Then take your cable, feed it through the strain relief and the body housing. Now strip the cord jacket according to the diagram found on the instruction sheet. You will want your leads to be roughly one and a half inches. Then remove the cord jacket. Your ground or your green wire will need to be cut to be approximately one inch long. Taking a pair of wire strippers, cut the wire. Now you will want to strip all of your wires approximately five eighths of an inch. Taking your wire strippers, place it on your wire, close, rock back and forth, and strip. Now that I've finished stripping all my wires, I want to take my faceplate and loosen all of my terminal screws. You will find the green ground screw in the center of the device. Taking your Phillips, back the screws out fully. The first wire I'm going to want to install is the green or ground wire and I'm going to insert it into the wire well of my green or ground screw terminal. Simply push it in, taking your Phillips, tighten the terminal clamp. Next, I'm going to want to install my white or neutral wire into the wire well of my silver terminal screw. Then taking my Phillips, tighten the terminal screw. Lastly, I'm going to connect my remaining three wires, insert them into the wire wells, and connect them to the brass terminals. Again, taking my Phillips and tightening the terminal screw. Now that all the terminations have been made, I want to slide the face plate into the body housing. You will notice that there is a channel guide on the body housing that lines up perfectly with the face plate. Then taking a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten your quick screws on the face plate. Our last step is to tighten the strain relief on the cable. Taking your Phillips, tighten down both screws on the strain relief. So there we have it, a completely wired black and white plug. The connector wires the exact same way. Something of note on both plug and connector is that if your wire is larger than the groove on the strain relief, you are able to remove a section of the strain relief to accommodate larger wire.